Oh. Well, good morning, guys. It's October 25th, and uh, we're starting the morning out at 5.20 a.m. with breakfast burritos. Not bad. And that's two warmed up breakfast burritos. Here's Logie's. Here's mine. Goal today is to, uh, like always, go have fun, number one. Number two is uh, go have fun, and we're gonna shoot for that. Jordy, you need to get them bibs. Let's see. I don't know. I'm cold this morning. Never know. Exactly. You get wet. Oh, and then Ben, you know how to get into your spot, right? You want to just pull it up one more time? You betcha. Guys, look at what I have in my hand. I have the Hoyt RX1. Some arrows and a release. Me and EC, I'm gonna go sit in the stand and hopefully he uh, has some luck still on him from last <laughs> night and he can bring it to me. We are the last group to leave the place. Oh yeah, that was the extra batteries and stuff, so I grabbed that. All right. The uh, batteries at 100%. How's the snack game though? We are not looking focused. Is this on? Snack game's on point here. Do we have jerky packets with nuts? And some Pro flower seeds. Little protein pack, throw that in there. This is a danger zone for me. All right, let's do this. I got everything. Got my tag, got my license. I need my knife. Check. Oh, uh, well, we switched teams today since Eric is tagged out. How sweet was that, though? I got good luck, Logie Bear, with me. Casey's run a little slow this morning. <laughs> yeah, so he might get out of here. But uh, we're just getting ready to go check out our stand. New stand based on new wind which means new opportunity at New Deer. It's gonna be a good day. The storm's just about passed, and the temperatures have dropped. It's an like ideal time to be in the Whitetail Woods. Ben's back there on the right side over here. Zach's right here on the left side. And you're gonna be up probably about a half mile, three quarters of a mile on the left side as well. Okay. Sonic's Carhoff Classic is only $2.99. A quarter pound double cheeseburger. Guys, we're ready. line running just behind us. Uh, 6.39 a.m. pitch black. Still been a little rain happening. So we're gonna get settled in. Wait for it to get light. Man, see what we can see.
breakfast burritos with us. Thank you. And I just got this picture from Jordan who dropped us off. This is the deer that's here. Big old eight. Wow, Eric. There'll be no big eights if you keep dropping the cap. February 5th, 5th, I don't think that's right. This says 1022, it's like three days ago. Eric thinks he just heard a deer, a doe blow. I always assume it's a doe. But it, you think it was a deer blowing? 100%. Like, scared? Yeah. Why? Because you removed your backpack. <laughs> Guys, I've told you, like, every hunt has you in different ways. And what we're used to is usually like a physically like waking up early, hiking a long ways, like staying out all day in the elements. And I can tell you that from just sitting one night last night with Brian, the obstacle is being patient and being quiet. Even though we're in a blind, uh, there's a lot of op opportunity to make noise. And I feel like me and Brian made a lot of noise last night. <laughs> I try to be quiet and sit still and be super patient today. We're just practicing. Practice makes perfect, guys. All these blinds are set up a little different. And when you have a camera person with you, you gotta make sure we got all the angles. So now that we can actually see, we have a river directly in front of us with a sandbar. There's a fence line right here and a bedding area back behind us. Hopefully the deer come from behind us checking for does or scrapes. Walk right in front of us at 30 yards or less and dies in the river because that would be really cool. And then I would make Logan s strip down to his underwear and go swim and get it, which would be even more cool. I'd be really lucky for our viewers. <laughs> I want my Hawaiian underwear. Logan wear his uh, fancy panties. <laughs> they had some clients in there last week and they rattled in three bucks. So we're gonna try to stir things up. I've never rattled before. at the corn and all of a sudden the bobcat just snatched one up and took off with it. That was fast. Dude that thing was stealthy. Yeah. Came out of that tree. Right there. Me and her were talking I heard this whoop. Look over bobcat snatched up a squirrel. Oh yeah. Sorry about your buddy.
this morning is coming to a close, our first morning hunt. It has been raining since we got here. Looking at the uh, radar on the weather app, I believe the storms should pass through about 12.30 or 1 p.m. It's about 10.30 a.m. now, so I think we're gonna head back to the house, eat a little breakfast, maybe sneak a nap in, maybe. Logan likes that. I knew that would happen. That would's definitely yes on Logan's part. We saw the one buck running the ridge. That was it. It sounds like it's been slow everywhere else. But we are very optimistic about this evening afternoon hunt. Because uh it honestly started raining last night right about when Eric shot, maybe a little before. And it hasn't stopped the whole time, so chances are the deer have been hunkered down as well riding the storm out hopefully they'll be ready to ready to mingle on the other side yeah. of the field okay they'll kind of hear us coming but if you can walk in there then you just there are right down there. so that's the other that's side the cheater buck? Yeah. <laughs> that one that they could be anywhere that he's got a nice kicker off his left two two kicker off his right two two and a drop time off his left side this is the uh pre-game you? And then that kicker actually round table meeting that we do always changing stand locations based on the wind so we're always looking at trail camera photos that they've captured on the cell cams on every single setup just to kind of get an idea of what they've been seeing little little pump house action hey so i don't think we've introduced you guys to the vlog all right you guys get together so guys this is zach and ben i went hunting with them in kentucky and it's because of these guys, the reason why we're here in the first place. You need your nose. They just and shake it. Just make a video. A music video. There you go. Just practicing my calls, guys. It's called Red Buck. I went up the, uh, uh, turkey rap video. The, uh, white tail starter kit today. Come on, you're a wheeze. Do you, is there anything that you, are you making sound with just your face? Yeah, but it comes out, sounds like it's coming out of a diaphragm. Uh, we got this guy ready. Don't bleep. We got this guy. Oh yeah. Oh, that went all the way. They're coming in. This is what we're looking for, and just a little is bit that different everybody in the garage? species this evening. Um, but the buck that we are going to hunt does kind of look like some of this trash. Yeah, it's got a lot of trash on it. There's a cheater buck. Yes, we're going after the cheater buck. I've got my uh, pink lemonade, Ignite, so I can stay hydrated in the stand. That's what I got, a little pick me up after my afternoon nap. So like right before, right when you go around the outside of this, you're gonna drop down right there. Safety line on the tree that you can... So basically you just tie that thing that that is like affixed to the tree, so when you're climbing up, it, in theory, you can't right. like fall. You're clipped in the, the whole time. Throw this around the tree, clip right in the air. We're ready to rock. We uh, we just earned our whitetail safety certificate merit badges because we have our harnesses on underneath. We're gonna go sit a double ladder, just a little bit north of where we were this morning, and uh, the storm has passed. It feels like a good night to get into some action. So I feel like there's going to be two, maybe three bucks killed tonight in our group. But uh, it's funny. I've been watching the video of my buck and everyone is making fun of me because how how much I was saying that's a huge deer in person. That deer looked gigantic to me, like huge body. But in the video, he doesn't look that huge. But, uh, man. We're going to go check the trail camera and swap cards.
been here tonight. If not, this drill camera will tell us what's been in there in the past. So there's the setup. We've got standing corn to the north and also to the east. River bottom to the south. And we're just on this pinch point right here. Looks pretty good. Looks promising.
I'm just enjoying myself. Beautiful sunset. Coyote says, Alan, had some roosters cackling. Not a bad day in the woods at all. We just want to thank all of you one more time. Uh, you are probably going to get tired of hearing us say this, but thank you guys for the support. Thank you for following along on this daily video series, particularly for those of you who have watched every single one. We absolutely, genuinely thank you for that support. And uh, guess what? Tomorrow we're going to be at, at it one more time, doing it all over again. So, uh, set your clock, make yourself a nice and hot meal, grab yourself a cold drink, come on back tomorrow, and let's do this all over, hopefully with better results.